Good morning, children. So look at the heading. A short monsoon diary. Who's that? Can you guess? He's the writer of that short monsoon diary. Who's he? Yes, Ruskin Bond. So I'm showing you the picture. How does he look like? So he is a famous, well-known writer. What's his name? He is Ruskin Bond. He has written the story, A Short Monsoon Diary. Okay, now something about the author. Ruskin Bond was born on 19th May 1934. He is an Indian author of British descent. That means he's an Indian author of British descent. What happens sometimes? Some Indians, you know, they go and settle in Britain and other countries and they become the citizen of that country. So that is what it means here. Indian author of British descent, you know. He lives with his adopted family. So he has an adopted family. And sometimes what happens, you know, the father... Uh, or the mother is Indian and the writer or the person has was born there. So then he becomes a British descent. He lives with his adopted family in Landore, Missouri, India. So Missouri is in India, very famous, you know. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of what? Children's Literature in India. He was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 for Our Trees Still Grow in Dera, his novel in English. So he was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and the Padma Bhushan in 2014. So very, very famous writer. See, he has won so many awards, you can see. So now... This is something general. What is monsoon? I'll tell you here. You must be very familiar with the word monsoon. Monsoon means what? Rains, heavy rains. Yes. So, the word monsoon is derived from an Arabic word. This is just for your knowledge that I'm showing this to you. Okay. From an Arabic word which means season. So, Monsoon is an Arabic word. And what does it mean? Season. This is just for your knowledge. That's all. Monsoons are systems of seasonal wind which blow with consistency and regularity from oceans to continents in summer and in the reverse direction in winter. So in winter the direction becomes reverse. Ulta as you say in Hindi. Yes. So these wind Changes are caused due to differential annual heating and cooling of continents and adjoining oceans. It happens because of the heating and cooling of continents and the oceans. These are the geographical reasons that are stated here. Okay, this is just to know, that's all. These winds are uh, largely confined to tropical belt. That means only in the tropical areas. They are especially more pronounced over Indian subcontinent between June and September. More pronounced means you get rains. Yes, monsoon season is from June to September. That is what it means. And this happens every year. The monsoons associated with other continental masses are not so marked as the Indian monsoons. So, we are concerned only about the Indian monsoons. Yes, the Indian monsoons are widely known owing to its excessive rainfall during summer and equally excessive dryness during winter. So, we have excessive rainfall in the rainy season, that is the monsoons, and dryness in the winters. Yes, everything looks so dry. Trees shed their leaves. Nature looks so dry and bare. From October to December, however, a branch of northeast trade winds sweep across the Bay of Bengal and causes precipitation over southern half of the Indian Peninsula. This is called the northeast or winter monsoon of India. Sometimes we do get winter rains, yes. So that is what winter monsoon. Due to its vagaries, the monsoons create great impact on the Indian agriculture. 
It calls for greater understanding of the processes involved in creation of monsoons that you have to study in details in geography, okay? So that you know what is what. Yes, what are land winds and all sorts of so many types of winds and things are there. Yes, that you will come across in geography. But I just gave you a brief idea as to what are monsoons. Okay, children, no. So now we will begin the summary of which lesson? Short Monsoon Diary. Who is the writer? Ruskin Bond. Please remember and remember the correct spelling also. Yeah, so we will begin now. First, we begin with the introduction. There are few extracts from Russian Bond's diary. These are, so some extracts are given here. Yes, sir. They show the silent miracles of nature. Miracle in Hindi, what does it mean? Jadu. They show the silent miracles of nature and life's little joys and regrets. They are about author's experiences during the monsoon months in Missouri. So what happens in Missouri in the monsoon months? That is what the author has shared with us. Monsoon starts in the last week of when does it start? Starts in the last week of June. Yes, and continues till the end of August. That is when we get rains. So, June 24th. It is the first day of monsoon mist. The mist has concealed the hills. Hills, you know, Something like fog, you know, nothing is visible. That is what is mist. It has also silenced the birds. No chirping of the birds. The author hears Bijju calling to his sister. He can feel that Bijju is running. However, the mist doesn't let him see Bijju. He can only hear his voice but can't see. Why? Because of the mist. So, he can't see Bijju. Why can't he see? Because of the mist. That whitish thing appears, you cannot see. The mist appears to change the hills in two ways. It conceals. Conceals means it hides the hills from view, from seeing. It also makes them silent. It is so because the birds fall silent in the mist. They do not chirp. You cannot hear the sound of the birds. That is what it means. Yeah. So, we'll move on to June 25th. What happens? Let's see. The rain is warm and humid. That means it is not cold. So it is not an as uncomfortable as the rain in winter. What will happen children? You just guess if it rains in winter. Already it is the season of winter. It becomes so cold. One will feel very very cold. The flowers are coming up. The author describes the hill station and valley in one sentence. How does he describe a paradise that might have been. Paradise is supposed to be a lovely, beautiful place. A place that is very attractive, full of beauty. Okay, now June 27th. So let's see what happens. The monsoon has brought leeches. You know, leech. Sometimes you see in your, what you say, in your farms. Yeah, leech is supposed to suck the blood of humans. A leopard has also been seen. It has been stealing dogs and other animals. Stealing for what? For food. Some seasonal flowers also appear. More importantly, new birds appear. Among them are minivets. So, minivets are birds. These are brightly colored birds. They sit silently among the leaves. So, what is seen here? Leeches, leopards, stealing dogs and which birds? Mini vets. And how's their body? They're brightly colored. Remember this. Okay, next. Let's see what happens on 2nd August. That is August 2. We'll see what happens on August 2. Yeah. Uh, it has rained all night. The sound of the rainfall on the tin roof pleases the author. Pleases. It makes him happy. Now, if you have a tin roof and the rain falls on the tick, 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 that sound, oh my God, one is untouched and yet in touch with the rain. No, the rain doesn't touch. Yeah, 
uh, touch the author, but he is, he is in touch with the rain. He can see, he can feel. Yeah, that is what it means, children. Okay, what happens on August 3rd? The rain stops. So it has stopped raining. There is sunshine. People, animals and birds are out in the open once again. They must be enjoying the sunshine, the sunlight. Uh, the song of a whistling thrush. Again, children, thrush is the name of a bird. The song of a whistling thrush coming from a distance pleases the author. So what happens? It pleases the author. August 12. It has been raining non-stop. Non-stop means continuously without stopping. That is non-stop for more than a week. Everything is damp. One can one can go out only with an umbrella, but it is not cold. So the hills are covered with flowers. What happens on August 31st? Monsoon growth is visible everywhere. The seeds of the cobra lily, cobra lily is the name of a flower, are turning red. This is an indication that the rains are coming to an end. That means... When you see the cobra lily turning red, the seeds, I mean to say, it means that now the rains are coming to an end. All holes are full of rainwater, so snakes and rodents have taken shelter in roofs, attics and go downs. Why? Because their holes are all full of water. Okay, now children, so what happens on 3rd October, October 3? This year, monsoon rain continued much longer than usual. Now there is winter rain. A hailstorm has cleared the sky. Winter rains means what? Obviously, it will be very cold. Okay, January 26th. The author wrote a poem about winter rain. The winter rain makes the author more lonely, lonely. Nobody is there. A friend who had been staying with him has left. So now he's lonely, all alone. Unlike the monsoon rain, there are no flowers in the winter rain. Okay, what happens on March 23rd? It is the end of winter. After a hailstorm, there is a rainbow in the clear sky. Children, some of the difficult words and their meanings. Of course, it is there in the story. But sometimes you don't look up and you start troubling me. Okay. Have you heard of the word melancholy? The word is there in the story. It means something very sad. And it blankets the hills means what? It covers it. That is what it means. Yeah. Ferns. What are ferns? Flowerless plant. That means it does not bear flowers. Yeah. So then scarlet mini word is a bright red bird which looks like a cuckoo. Then drongo. It's a song bird. Yes, so ravine means a valley. Yes, it means a what? Valley. Then what else? Caress means holding it in a very loving manner. So you must know the meanings of uh, difficult words. So many word meanings are given in the story. Okay, children, so very important, read the lesson, underline the difficult words, look up the meanings and note down. That's all. Thank you.